Across four continents and 500 years, A-Level History will transport you to times and places of different cultures and systems. From the instability and turmoil of late medieval England to the political experimentation of post-First World War Germany, your exploration will be furthered by a variety of investigation topics and themes. On this course, you will find a great deal of debates and analytical thinking, analysing a variety of elements including primary and secondary sources. This is a course that suits those engaged with current and historical issues, as well as those wishing to dive into the past in a thematic yet detailed fashion. What will I study? There are two modules across the two years, and each one is split into part one and part two. Your first module is the Tudors. In the first year, we cover Henry VII and Henry VIII, and the second year sees us focus on Henry VIII's children, Edward, Mary, and Elizabeth. This includes key events in Tudor history, such as the end of the War of the Roses, the creation of the Church of England, Charles V's closing of the Italian Gap, and Elizabeth's defeat of the Spanish Armada. This is a thematic module and is thus approached in such a fashion. The themes that we address are politics, economics, society, religion, and foreign policy. Your second module is Weimar and Nazi Germany. In the first year, we cover the turbulent post-war years of Weimar Germany, as she struggles to adapt to being a democratic state with a weakened economy and an inherited aggressive reputation, eventually leading to the rise of political extremism on the left and the right. In the second year, we look at Nazi Germany, including the consolidation of power, the impact on social groups, racial policy across occupied Europe, and the impact of war on the people at home. This is a depth module, and so the focus is on specific details relating to cause and effect. The third and final element to A-level history is a piece of coursework. This historical investigation is very independent and allows you to explore an area of history not covered in your examined modules. You will conduct this throughout the second year, alongside studying your other modules. The maximum word count is 4,500 and is reflective of a history essay at undergraduate level, giving you a taste of the subject from a university perspective. There are at least 13 topics for you to choose from. These include English witchcraft trials, the Glorious Revolution, the British Empire, Irish Republicanism, Russian economics, Yugoslavian identity, African American civil rights, women's rights in the United States, South African home policy, Indian home policy, Chinese factionalism, Japanese economics, and LGBTQ plus rights in the UK. This coursework is worth 20% of your final grade. Will I go on any trips? We run a variety of trips. We regularly organise lecture days to university that we have close ties with, including Lancaster University, the University of Central Lancashire, and Manchester Metropolitan University. There are also opportunities for you to embark on residential trips where you can engage with living history. These locations include London, Berlin, Krakow and Auschwitz, Rome and Athens. How will I be assessed? There are two exams at the end of the first year, one for Tudors and one for Germany. These grades help determine the level you are working at but do not contribute to your final grade. There are two exams at the end of the second year, one for Tudors and one for Germany. Each paper will include a compulsory question based on sources, then a choice of two out of three essay questions. Your final coursework draft is submitted in the Easter of the second year, meaning 20% of the A-level will be officially completed by the time of exam season. What are the entry requirements? Five grade fives and above, including maths and English. Due to the subject specific skills covered at GCSE level, you should achieve a grade six in history, as well as a grade five in English language, due to the A level being essay style. Where could this subject lead? Although history does not have one specific career path, there are several directions you can go in with a history qualification at this level, utilising the skills you have learnt along the way. These include the civil service, policing, politics, museum curation and conservation, 
teaching and lecturing, journalism, and marketing and advertising. Hope you have found this useful and please contact us if you have any questions.